HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good morning, HSC. I'm Brock Albert. And I'm Josie Britton. And here's your newscast for Wednesday, February 24th, 2016. Come out to Sky Jam every Saturday night for one and a half hours of jumping, which includes two slices of pizza and a drink. Before we start today's newscast, here's a segment on Black History Month. Black History Month is a time for me to celebrate my heritage. For me, Black History Month is a very important part of our year. Black History Month means to me just a way for my ancestors to be relived in memory. And it's a time to celebrate our heritage and to learn more about the things that we might have not known about. It's a time for me to celebrate the history that I'm taught to despise. There's a lot of things that has been overlooked when it comes to black history, even though it is, plays a very key role in our society and to where we are as a society today. And I feel like we need to learn about black history when we get older too, because we only learn about black history when you're younger and you don't really understand what you're learning about. You just hear, oh my God, we're learning about slavery. Oh my God, we're learning about Martin Luther King. But you don't really hear the effect and like, you don't grasp the effect that it has on society. Many people don't know that blacks built the infrastructure of America. People need to know stuff like this. Americans need to know stuff like this. Am I proud of my non-black ancestors? Yes. But I'm most and more importantly proud of my black ancestors. They embody grace, resilience, and strength. And it's a part of our history. A large part of our history was segregation. A large part of our history was slavery. So the achievements that happened to end those two terrible acts just matter. And everyone should know about them and everyone should relive them and understand them. The famous black person that I look up to is Michelle Obama because in the face of adversity, in the face of people saying all those racist, nasty, and negative things about her, she still holds herself up high and she's still boss. Three things you should know for today are, this past Saturday, Jeb Bush stepped down from the GOP presidential race after coming in fourth in the South Carolina primaries. Bush doesn't plan to run again in the future. Apple is refusing to open the San Bernardino terrorist phone after a court order mandate from the FBI. Apple says that they won't open the phone to protect their other customers. Over the past weekend, an Uber driver suspected in a series of three random shootings in Kalamazoo, Michigan, admitted on Monday he carried out the seemingly random acts that killed six people and critically injured two. The man behind these crimes is Jesse Dalton. If he's convicted, the murder charges will carry a mandatory life sentence. Michigan does not have the death penalty. Do you wonder what happens behind the scenes of HSE? Here's a quick video about our new podcast, which airs in a couple of weeks and we'll include behind the scenes footage and answer your questions. Hey HSE, we got a new feature spot. HSE TV is going to have a podcast, which will air in a couple of weeks. The Dropbox will still be in Kedley's Corner, where you can leave questions and suggestions to improve our daily announcements. It will feature behind the scenes in different aspects of the school. Can't wait to answer your questions and read all of your suggestions. Remember, tomorrow is FFA Blue and Gold Day, and Friday is Spirit Wear. Have a colorful day, HSE. Have a nice day. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.